and welcome to the Candlewood Speedway for the Aiden North Racing Summer Tournament Championship Race. After eight heats of racing, eight cars have emerged as contenders to win the Aiden North Racing Summer Tournament Championship. The grandstands are packed, the lights are turned on, and the cars are waiting for their chance to shine. Who will become victorious and win the Aiden North Racing Summer Tournament? Now there will be rule changes for the championship race. Instead of one car qualifying, there will be two four car races to determine how the cars will start. And then the main race. All eight cars will race in a six lap shootout to determine the winner. And then this one's big. If a car wrecks one time, they will start at the back of the field the last lap. And if they wreck a second time, they will be done for the race. The first set of cars are in the garage ready for the first qualifying race. We got the McLaren 720S, the Mercedes-Benz AMG GT, the 2011 Dodge Charger RT, and the 2018 Camaro SS. The starting lineup for both qualifying races was chosen at random, and the 2018 Camaro SS will lead the first group down. And the green flag is in the air for the first qualifying race. And it's going to be, it looks like the Dodge Charger managed to pass... The Camaro, as it looked like the Mercedes, got the best jump but spun out. And the Dodge Charger will lead the field down for the final lap in the qualifying race. And the cars are back up at the gate, ready for the final lap of the first qualifying race. Who will take it and start up front? And the white flag is in the air. And it looks like it's going to be close. I think it's going to be the Dodge Charger taking it. We'll have to look at the instant replay. Because here we go. And I think it, it was the Camaro, I think, that took it. The 2018 Camaro SS is going to win the race and is going to start up front. He will, be he will be followed by the Dodge Charger, the Mercedes-Benz AMG GT, and the McLaren 720S. Now the second group of cars are getting ready for the second qualifying race. It will be the Mazda MX-5 Miata, the Lamborghini Huracan, the Lotus Esprit, and the Tesla Model S. The Lotus Esprit is going to start up front, followed by the Mazda MX-5 Miata, the Tesla Model S, and the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. And the green flag is in the air for qualifying race number two. And this is a quick one, and I'm not sure who's going to take it. It looked like the Lotus had it, but the Mazda was right next, side by side. And I, well, I think it was the Lotus who ends up taking the win. The Lotus did end up taking the win and is going to lead the group down for the final lap of qualifying race number two. And the white flag is in the air. The Lotus gets a jump and is going to take the win and be the winner of qualifying race number two. And as we look at the replay, this, it was a great job staying out front and not letting anybody pass. The Lotus Esprit will take the win and be the flying up first, followed by the Tesla Model S the 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata, and the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. This is how the cars will line up for the main event. The Lotus will start first, the Camaro will start second, the Tesla will start third, the Dodge will start fourth, the Ma Mazda will start fifth, the Mercedes will start sixth, the Lamborghini will start seventh, and the McLaren will start eighth. All of those cars are going to chase for victory lane. We'll take a quick break and move right back. For a great place to eat, stop by Steve's Fish Shack, where you all you can eat fish for only nine bucks. Seven oh nine Ocean Way Drive, Elkhart, Indiana four six five four one. Welcome back. The cars are back up the starting gate, ready to get this race underway. The Lotus is freezing and will lead them down. And the green flag is in the air for the championship race. The Lotus gets the jump, but the Camaro manages to pass for the lead. This is the first time we've ran eight cards down the Candlewood Speedway, and there's already chaos already with the Dodge Charger wrecking before it ever hitting the fat track, which we've never seen that with a four car race. As really not much when you got onto that fat track, as the Lotus got the jump, but the Camaro makes a great pass to take the lead. The cars are back up at the gate, ready for, get for lap number two. The Camaro will lead them down, followed by the Lotus. And the green flag is in the air. The Lotus gets the jump but spins out. And the Tesla is going to lead heading into lap number three. And as you look at the replay, it looks like the Lotus gets loose caught, and then hits the Camaro, causing the Camaro to spin out. But the Tesla does a great job avoiding all of this and passing underneath to take the lead. 
it looked like there were some cars that that flipped over in the merger and there are two cars it looks like one of them is the mazda mx5 miata and the other one i'm not sure because here it is in slow-mo and i think yeah i think it's the lotus esprit both those two cars will head to the back and if they got to be careful because if they have one more wreck then they're out of the race and as we approach the halfway point of this race, the Tesla Model S will lead the field down, followed by the Camaro SS and the Mercedes-Benz. And the green flag is in the air. The Tesla gets the jump, but the Camaro is going to lead, heading into lap four. And as we look at their instant replay of the last lap, the Tesla gets a great jump, but the Camaro comes storming back as KS unfolds behind them. And the Camaro will lead, heading into lap number four. The Mercedes had a big wreck and will start in the back for the next lap. And then we're hearing word from the officials that they're reviewing to see if the Camaro did actually cross the line. As you saw the him wrecking across the line. They're going to make sure that everything is okay as we look at it in slow-mo. Ooh, I think he did. He did have his car cross the finish line. So I think they're going to count that as he did yeah he's gonna lead heading into lap number four followed by the tesla model s the dodge charger who recovered from an early crash and the mclaren 720s we'll take a quick break and be right back for the Aiden north racing summer tournament championship if you need shoes come to the compass shoe company on 1112 northwest passage drive lima ohio Open 24 hours on Mondays only. See you there. Welcome back. The cars are back up at the gate, ready to get lap number four underway. The Camaro is going to lead the field down, followed by the Tesla Model S. And the green flag is back in the air. The Camaro gets a jump, and the Tesla just ran off the track. And after a crazy turn of events, the second place car, the Tesla Model S, runs off the track and wrecks. I know, that's unbelievable. He never even did that. As we're looking at the slow-mo of the lap after the finish line cam didn't work. And it looks like the Dodge Charger almost did a 180. And the chaos unfolded that lap. The Tesla Model S will start in the back after a wreck. That shouldn't have happened. The Camaro is going to lead the field down. And the green flag is back in the air. And the, this time it's going to be the Dodge Charger take, that takes the lead. And it looks like the Tesla wrecks again. And the Tesla is going to be out of this race. But great job by the Dodge Charger to recover from an early wreck that easily could have put him behind in this race. And great job controlling the field by the Dodge Charger. But not so lucky for the Tesla Model S. He was in second where he made a silly mistake to run off the track and he's done. And the Dodge Charger is going to lead the field down, followed by the Lotus and the Camaro. And we'll take a quick break and be right back for the final lap of the tournament. The Aiden North Racing Summer Tournament is brought to you by Exxon Energy Lives Here. By Steve's Fish Shack, all you can eat fish for nine bucks. And by the Compass Shoe Company, buy one shoe and get three shoes free. Welcome back as we are taking a look at some of the most memorable wrecks from the Aiden North Racing Summer Tournament. And the cars are back up at the gate ready for the final lap. The Dodge Charger RT is going to lead them down followed by the Lotus Esprit. And the white flag is in the air. And the Dodge Charger gets a jump but there's a giant wreck. And no one finishes the lap. What happened? I have no idea. The Dodge Charger gets a good jump. But all of a sudden, he goes off the track. Well, my, we're going to have to take a deep breath here. As we're going to have to dissect this a little bit more. As we're going to look at it again. The red flag is out. As it looks like the Camaro rammed the rear end of the Dodge Charger. That causes him to flip over. And then right here, there was an issue with the track. And it's going to cause the Lotus and the Dodge to wreck. And it looked like the Lotus was going to win if that wasn't there. But a crazy wreck for both for all the cars. And it looks like we're going to have to do another lap. As you can see from the finish line camera there, there's chaos. As 
Well, the medical unit is responding quickly on the Dodge Charger. And I think they're saying he, he's gonna, he climbed out of his car. He is okay. Looks like the Mazda also wrecked. And the Lotus. The, this is gonna, so disappointing for the Lotus because he was going to cruise to a victory and win the tournament. But because of a di uh, an issue with the track, he is going to wreck out as they sent a safety group worker over to fix the, the um, track. And what a crazy turn of events. And three cars got, were involved in this wreck. The Lotus Esprit, the Mazda MX-5 Miata, who got hit by the Dodge Charger as he flipped over, and the Dodge Charger RT. The Meanwhile, the Lamborghini Huracan is going to lead the field for another for the final lap in overtime. As They're going to get them up in the gate, and we're going to get ready to go racing. We are ready to go racing for the final time, hopefully, as we are in overtime. The Lamborghini is going to lead, followed by the Camaro. And the white flag is out for the final time. And it's going to be the Mercedes taking the win and winning the A North Racing Summer Tournament. What a race that was. The Lamborghini tries to block the Camaro and the Mercedes makes, makes up for it. Going underneath to pass the Lamborghini to take the win. Great job for the Mercedes to, make, to be aware and make a pass. As the Mercedes is going to take first place, the Lamborghini Huracan finishes second, the McLaren finishes third, and the Camaro finishes fourth. And the Mercedes Benz AMG GT is celebrating victory lane. The driver of it was ecstatic on the radio after recovering from an early wreck and winning, just doing a great job driving the car. This tournament had everything you could ask for. R great racing. Wrecks, passes, upsets, and many more things. But but this is going to be a great track for future events. And I'm telling you, there are some great racing soon to come on this channel. I'm A North, and I'll see you in the next video.